friends, I'm here today to do a book haul. So I just recently got back from Italy and my plan for Italy was to get myself one book from every single city that I kind of went to and it worked out. I definitely bought more than that, but I also have some book, a, some, a mini book haul for my birthday that some people sent me some things and I also have some merch that I bought. So I'm going to kind of do all that in one video and then we'll, we'll, we'll be back to regular content starting next week. So let's get into it. Um, I picked up a couple of books in the airport at the very end of my trip when I was in Rome just because um, I did. I had some extra money. I didn't want to do the conversion right back to U.S. dollars, so I just kind of bought them. So I got The Love Wager by Lynn Painter. It was very hard to find English books in a lot of these cities, but I did find a couple, so I just kind of grabbed them because I want them in my collection. And it's just a fun story to say I got it in Italy. So this one is The Love Wager by Lynn Painter. This is her adult book. I want to check out her YA books. I think I have a YA book at some point in the stock, but I'm not really sure. Um, but this is just a romance, and I'm really craving them, especially in September because I'm going back to school, and some quick books might work, and I think that this is like a fake dating romance. I also got Jessica Fellows, which I've heard a lot about, and this is The Midford Trial. This is another kind of whodunit murder mystery, a cozy mystery and it does have a red cover which means I can't read it this month but I will probably read it in the future and I want to again I've always wanted these books and this is the one that I found at the airport so I want to picking it up again I don't want I don't know what many of these books are about I also when I was in Florence I got death in August the first inspector Bordella mystery by Marco Vince and again, I kind of in the mood to kind of read some cozy mysteries and I wanted to see what's popular in other countries. This is also a super short book as well. It's like not even 200 pages. This would be great for a readathon. Um, and it is set in, I think it's set in, I think, yeah, I think it's set in Florence, which Florence is also near the water. So it could work for that. But yeah, so that was like fun. I got this one in Florence at a very, very cute bookshop. And the first book that I found, and I was like, so th this, finding books in Venice was, I think, the hardest. I'll be very honest. So when I saw them, I grabbed them because I was like, I'm not, I don't know if I'm sorry. I got Yellow Face by R.F. Kuang. This one was one that I just found randomly on the shelves and it wasn't organized in the best way. But I got this. This is her first for away and to kind of mystery thrillers I've heard some really good things about I do have the audiobook as well but again I was just happy to get something from that city which this was Venice so I grabbed it I also got the Italian escape by Catherine Magana this is a book that I really just wanted something from the city and it was a few book in English I, they had some really interesting editions from like books that weren't weren't in English they were in Italian but I just know I'm never gonna read those so this is just a pretty cover and I decided to grab it Hopefully, I like it when I get around to reading it. Um, and these two books, I think I got these when I was... Oh, this is another book. These, this is another book that I got when I was in Florence. I got The Last Unicorn by Peter S. Beagle. And I just have always wanted to read this book, but I don't like any of the editions. So when I saw a book that had these two color combinations, I grabbed it. Um, and it's just very, very pretty. I also got, like, a ton of bookmarks. But this is like a very classic fantasy book and I am really excited to read this. But this again is one that I just saw the cover and I was like, oh, I need that because I know I've always wanted to read this book. But the American covers don't really work for me. So, uh, And also when I was in Rome, I think, I got The House of Fortuna by Jesse Burden. And I have heard a lot about this author as well. Um, and it's kind of like... A historical fiction story but I think there's a little bit of magic to it and then the last two books that I got is better than the movies by Lynn Painter um this is another this is actually her this is her YA book so I got this I think I got this when I was in Rome I don't actually remember um but I definitely remember I got Imogen obviously from there and this is her newest YA book and I actually bought a copy, but again, blue, and I'm kind of, I was trying to get a lot of blue books, so in case I ran into trouble when I was in Italy, I could read them. But yeah, those are all the books that I got on my from my Italian side of my trip, and now let's get into the books I got for my birthday. Not a, not, not a ton. I'm going to do my, I'm going to give myself a book haul in a few days when I kind of organize my life, but yeah, let's get into it.
friend Sarah sent me three books for my birthday, which, oh my god, that was so nice of her, so, so kind. I got Bur The Burning Glass by Catherine Purdy, which is her first series, but I have liked all of her books. I recently read The Forest Grimm, which comes out in September, and loved it. I have to go back and read the Bone Cryer Moon series, but this, again, is her first series, and I really did want to read it, and it's pretty chunky, so she got it for me. She also got me a copy of When in Rome by Sarah Adams. This is the companion book to Practice Make Perfect, which everyone has loved and I think it's closed door which I don't mind so I'm excited um and I think this takes place in Rome Kentucky I thought it took place in Rome Italy but it doesn't um and then she also got me a copy of Serpents of the Wings Serpents the Wi- the Serpents and the Wings of Night by Carissa Broadbent. I do have a copy of her other series, but this was a physical book that she did get me. Again, blue on the cover was kind of what I was looking for. But yeah, those are the books that she got me. And then somebody, they didn't like tell me who they were, but they got me a copy of The Chateau by Jacqueline Goldis. So if you sent me this, thank you really, really much. I don't know who it is because it just says a fellow book lover, but I really appreciate it. This is a thriller. Again, I might save it for September when I am a bit stressed because I don't, I want to read a ton in September, but then I never do. So maybe some shorter options will be best. Sorry, my dog's barking. I also got some merch packages that I sent away for. So if you have not been following the readathon train, I am participating in Battle of Fawn in September, which is hosted by Mel. Um, and a bunch of other people, but she did do merch, and I actually have a shirt as well that I got because I became a Patreon. But these are the bookmarks that she wound up sending. They're so struggling, and I am going to be Team Blue, but I also love green, so I decided to get both. And these are just very high quality bookmarks. And if you know nothing about me, I am very hard on my bookmarks. So, and we also got a Battle a Thon sticker, which is really, really nice. Um, and then I also did get merch. Because I'm her Patreon, because she opened it up for her Patreon. So this is Battle Athon, which is basically a dragon based readathon. And that is what that one is. I am going to probably wear this on the first day of September when the readathon starts. Um, but yeah, so that was the merch for that. Hopefully, she doesn't eat my stickers, which she might, because she's. Here, take that. No? Here, I got it. Um, and I also got, I think this is the fourth wing merch. My, 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 I was going to Italy. <sighs> Cassie. Um, my mom says, what do you want? So I wound up getting two. <sighs> Cassie, you are not cooperating right now. Go over there. Um, so, she, so I wound up getting a couple. <coughs> mom, what? <sighs> Everyone needs me when I film. That's always the problem. But I did wind up getting this shirt, which is fourth wing. And can you? stop I you have a bone just on the bone when I hold it and then I got this beautiful back with both dragons which is really really cool um and then I also got this one which it's not really fourth wing but I just thought it was cute and it's book dragon and I had a book dragon shirt that I got a while ago and I don't really like it so these will go into my collection so yeah that is my book haul sorry for a bit for the chaos uh, she doesn't like when I film because I'm not talking to her, but I'm talking to somebody and she can't see them. <laughs> but yeah, that's my book haul. This is the book I picked up from Italy. I also got like a ton of bookmarks, but I don't actually know what bookmarks I'm keeping yet and what bookmarks I'm giving away. So you'll probably see those in some videos and some Instagram photos coming up. But yeah, let me know if you, if you treat yourself to your birthday. I actually have to do a birthday book haul for myself, but I just haven't been home. And I'm going out with my friends like the day before school starts. So I'm probably going to pick myself up a couple books. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you have picked up for yourself recently. If you have got any merch. I like to support small businesses if I can. And I'll talk to you guys soon for another video. Bye.